In order to successfully get a modification on your loan, there are a lot of little details that you need to know. It's recommended that you get help to do that, but there is free help available with uh, HUD approved counseling agencies. You do not need to pay a private um, modification company, especially somebody out of state, to help you with this process. You should find a knowledgeable attorney if you're going to pay someone to do it or use one of the nonprofit HUD agencies and there are lots of them around. When you get served with a foreclosure complaint, there will be a list and a page of nonprofit HUD agencies available to help you. What they're going to look for, and this is really the, the key to getting a modification is making sure you jump through all of the hoops that the lender puts in front of you. You need to prove a valid reason to fall behind. Not because you don't like the interest rate you have, not because you don't want the loan, you, not because you're underwater. A valid reason is you've had a financial hardship. But you need to spell that out for the lender. Whether it was an unemployment, you need to tell them, I was unemployed from such and such to such and such. I'm back to work now and now I can afford to pay my mortgage, but I can't afford to get caught up. There are situations that people have with illnesses. There are situations people have with divorces and, and people, roommates moving out and things of that nature. These are things that are valid reasons to fall behind, but you need to explain it and you need to explain it well to the lender. Once that's done, you have to prove you live in the home. There are many people that have investment properties and, and unfortunately most of the modification programs do not modify a loan if it's an investment property. What they do is try to get you to uh, refinance the property uh, to fix your situation. Um, once you do that, you, how do you prove you live in a home? They want to see that you get your bills at that house. They want to see that your, your bank statements and your pay stubs are all addressed to you at that residence. Um, these are things that, that you need to do to prove that it's a principal residence and you live there. They're going to want to see bank statements. Now, many times people are self-employed. Many people have tip income or commission income. And in order to get a modification, you have to prove to the lender that you're getting that income. Telling them you're getting it is inadequate. That's not proof. Proof is you're depositing the funds to your bank account. Proof is that you have independent statements done by an accountant. If you are self-employed, if you're in business, part of the responsibility of being in business is keeping books and records. And if you're in business, they're going to want to see profit and loss statements. If you don't know how to do it yourself, you're going to need help to do it. They're going to want to see usually monthly, quarterly, and annual profit and loss statements. The lender is going to want to make sure that you report and that you have filed taxes. They're going to want to make certain that the tax returns you filed are the ones that you're giving them to prove your income. If you have not filed tax returns, make sure you catch them up and get them done because nobody's going to modify you without them. If you have bank statements, make certain that your bank statements uh, you have the complete set, all pages. Save them. Save your pay stubs. If you deposit, if you have a tenant or you have borders in your home or you're, you have a family contribution, a child, a parent, a brother, a sister that lives with you, make sure you have documentation that they're contributing and try and make sure that those, the money goes into the bank. If you don't put it in your bank account, you can't prove it and you can you're not going to be receive a modification from the lender if you can't prove something